Well, look, today London suffered a horrific uh, attack in the heart of Westminster. Uh, my heart goes out to those who've lost loved ones and those affected by today's uh, attack. Tragically, a Metropolitan Police officer who was doing his job to keep our city safe lost uh, his life. And my thoughts are with his uh, family. And on behalf of Londoners, I want to thank the police and the emergency services who work incredibly hard in difficult circumstances to keep us safe. My message to those who want to harm us and destroy our way of life is you won't succeed, you won't divide us, we won't be cowed by terrorists. Is the government's, is London's counter-terror strategy working? Well, we've had a very good COBRA meeting chaired by the Prime Minister, where we had uh, the Security Minister and others around the table discussing how we can ensure that London continues to be one of the safest cities in the world. The reality is for a number of years now, the security threat has been severe which means an attack uh, has been highly likely. The outgoing commissioner said it was a question of if, not when. There have been many, many, many occasions where attacks have been thwarted by the bravery of our police service and the hard work of our security services. Unfortunately today, the attack uh, led to a number of lives being lost and many others being uh, injured. But as a city, we're not going to be cowed by these uh, terrorists. We've shown in the past how to defeat these terrorists. We're going to do so again in the future. But we're here in Westminster. This is one of the most highly protected areas of the whole of London. I mean, there's obvious concerns here, aren't there? It's worth reminding ourselves that there's a very good reason why the terrorists want to attack our way of life and destroy our way of life. They can't stand the fact that here in Westminster, here in London, we have a thriving democracy. We enjoy civil liberties and human rights. Christian, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists, those who are members of an organised faith and those who aren't, live together not just peacefully, respectfully, celebrating each other, embracing each other. We're not going to allow them to divide us. And my thoughts tonight are with the family of the police officer who tragically lost his life and the others who are suffering as a consequence of this terrorist attack. Represent women in politics.